The Creighton men's soccer team has had a lot to celebrate this season. The Blue Jays are ranked number one in the nation, but for a team in the heartland of America, much of their success derives from an unlikely place, Germany. On the field, like the, the opponent obviously doesn't understand German, so it's an uh, advantage, I, I guess. Junior Fabian Herbers is referring to conversations with senior teammate Timo Pitta. Both players spent their entire lives in Germany before crossing the Atlantic for Omaha. An adjustment they say was much easier because head coach Elmar Bolovich is also German. That was the main reason basically why I came to Creighton. Uh, uh, Elmar called me. Uh, like back home and he talked to me in German right away and uh, just made me kind of feel familiar and, uh, and comfortable. Just thinking about going to a different country that was, uh, was a little bit scary too to be honest and so it was definitely uh, a benefit to have a, a German coach here who can explain you like what to expect and, and so on. The German trio of Fabian, Timo and senior Vincent Keller have led the Blue Jays to an 11-0-0 start. They're the only remaining unbeaten and untied team in Division I. Fabian, a forward, is a candidate for National Player of the Year. He leads the Big East in goals, assists, points, and game-winning goals. Timo is last season's Big East Midfielder of the Year. He's second on the team in goals and points and ranks in the top five in the conference for those categories. Vincent is a three-time Big East Defensive Player of the Week and an anchor of the defense that has recorded eight shutouts in 11 games. Fabian and Timo say they haven't really found any German culture in Omaha, but having a few German teammates makes it feel a bit more like home. My freshman year, uh, Timo and Vincent, uh, two Germans, they were sophomores, they were already a year here. They helped me out with getting all my stuff, getting organized, settled down a little bit, and that uh, released a lot of stress, yeah. It definitely is. It helps a lot. Uh, when I first came here, I had uh, Elmo as German coach and I had Vincent Keller, so it was definitely easy, uh, like especially in tough situation, you had to, you could use your your German language, so that made it a lot easier. The Europeans there adjust very quickly, uh, academically and socially. Uh, I have found that there were no integration problems whatsoever. You know, it's it's not per se that you have to have more than one in order for things to uh, go the right way. Uh, you just have to find the right one. Coach certainly found the right ones in Fabian and Timo who have noticed several differences between European and American soccer. Especially college soccer is uh, less tactical, but more like physical and athletic. Like here, they're all pretty, pretty physical. They go to the weight room uh, three, four times a week and get big, get fast, get strong. In Germany, it's a lot more tactics. I mean, uh, you grow up as a, as a little kid and everyone uh, plays soccer and so from little on, you, they teach you how to, how to move on the field, how to position yourself. The entire Creighton team had the chance to experience the German game and culture this summer when they took a two-week trip to Germany and Austria. It was great. Like, it, was, it was very different for them and, uh, and a great experience for them. And yeah, I really enjoyed it to be like the tour guide with Vince and Timo and like, show them everything around. It was uh, an awesome experience to show them like, our culture and uh, how we live. Because, uh, I mean, they, they helped us a lot to immigrate to their culture and it was uh, nice to give something back. The trip was a rare opportunity for the families of the German players to see them play. It's maybe the most thing I miss here when I'm, um, I'm back here, my friends and family back home. Uh, because, like, yeah, I spent, spent uh, yeah, all my life with them until now and this was a big step coming to America for me. Fabian and Timo say on the field, the trip helped the team connect and develop a rhythm before preseason. The Blue Jays went 2-2 two and two with each loss by just one goal. We played against contracted players and, and we felt like we can hang, we, we can play at that level. And actually we got a lot of praise and a lot of compliments uh, for how we played and, and how skillful and uh, astute tactically our players are. Coach Bolovich says the trip certainly played a part in the outstanding season his team is having. And while Fabian, Timo and Vincent have dreams of playing professionally in the U.S. or Germany, for now there's only one thing on their minds. Focus on the moment, try to go with the team right now and, uh, and try to go all the way this season with this team. Just got to enjoy the moment.
Now the German trio would like nothing more than to bring the College Cup back to the two places they call home, Omaha and Germany.